Welcome back to Sternopolis, episode 17, and I have coal. Um, I did have coal. Where did I put my coal? Uh, um, um, wait a minute. I had two stacks of coal. Where did I put it? Uh, did I convert it all to diamond? I think I did. I put attached a hopper here and I'm pretty sure I put it in there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put those 16 raw diamonds in there. We're going to make sure this has production four times set, which it does. We've got pink slime in. We were one away. We are now over a thousand. So this is going to be very slow because that is four times. Um hopefully it progresses does that mean if it's four times it needs four times the amount and I, I that has to be full because that does not seem to be counting up if that's the case it's going to be a very short episode Uh, maybe it's this button. We'll wait until all this is processed. Right, so that's all processed. Uh, this is still not giving us any progress. So, should we try half full? Ah, there we go. Right, okay. Oh, that, it was for a minute there it was going to be a very short episode so the only other thing i've done is this flood, fluid sieving machine requires sand so i took some stacks of cobblestone and i crushed them into gravel and crushed them again into sand so there's no biggie there getting the sand um is this set this set so we're going to have to wait until this gets to the end before this is pulled out into here. And let's see what that makes. And over we go. And see that what did that make about 4k in there and that's gonna fill up so, so 1600 plus 900 so we had 2500 in there so it's took exactly half out with that button saying half full um is there an option no get that remainder but there isn't so how much per diamond dust is the next question and that looks like a hundred per dust that's not so bad so it's it's one sand and a hundred millibuckets of the fermented diamond ore meat makes a diamond dust and don't forget we've got to take that and strain it and with our uh, good up strainer upgrades hopefully this can turn into a lot more the only downside is this process here look is only a 50% chance so that's not good but we need what I think we calculated 27 diamonds to progress down the chapter so this is going to give us a fair few. We've got another, what, six, 60, 60 to come. So let's take those out and we can start processing these. Um, which fluid was it? It was purified water, right. So that's these here. We want the best mesh in that we can possibly make. And that is the quartz mesh. Now these have all got iron in. 
Uh, let's go and steal a quartz mesh. I don't think we can make any better than the quartz mesh. Uh, that's a tier four. Don't think we can make a tier five mesh. No, in fact, the tier five mesh is the diamond one uh, that we've got unlocked anyway. Uh, there is a netherite mesh, I believe, uh, but as you can see, it's not listed there because we can't um, we we can't actually make it. So let's take this one out. Or oh, has that got an upgrade in? Right. So we're going to use the everlasting input upgrade. Hopefully. Um, this gives us, fingers crossed, some diamonds back and doesn't just vanish. Because there's a good chance that it can just vanish. Well, that's a good start. That's definitely a good start. Right, so let's just make sure we don't use the diamond dust for anything else. Well, there's nothing else in JEI that shows it as unlocked. So this is the only process that we've got to use it on. So that's okay. So we got two out the first one. And two out the second one. So it's not a good return ratio, but we have got 80 diamond dust that we should be getting. So let's go back and just pick up those extra ones. So let's take these 32 and we can run the strainer, which is next to it. Just need to pick the upgrade up from another one. That'll do. So we can run this one. Oh no, that's the one that's running. So this one here can have those. Let's combine some of these rubbish ones. Can we do that? No. Helps if we put the actual mesh in. So we've got both these running now. So uh, I can't remember what we started with in this one. Was it 20 something or other? I'll have to look back at the video and just post the number on the screen. And then we had 32 in here. So that's a good start for that one as well. So we've got three for one. Yeah. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the quest line. I think we just need a diamond now to unlock this next tree, uh, which is back to the void. So let's take those. Uh, we'll have to remember we've got 11 from there and four from that one. And then that previous chapter is complete. And we got two more. And now we can get some diamond gears. So we already looked at these yesterday. We want um, one for each laser drill. And I think it was two for the la all laser base. Yeah. So we want at least six. Have we got? No, we ain't got enough. We need six. Six. So that's 24 diamonds. And then we need three for the pickaxe. So one more and we've got the gears. And that unlocks the next chapter. So we want four laser drills. 
and we want one or laser base. Now, what is the machine frame? So we've got an advanced in the or laser base, and we have a simple in the laser drill. So that's slightly easier to make. Right, there, there is a fluid laser base and there is an ore laser base. Whatever you do, make sure you make the right, the right one. So we want the ore laser base, not the fluid one. And the laser drills are, are just laser drills, so they, they are okay. Let's make the laser drills first. So we want uh, four simple machine frames, so we need... Um, Eight iron, eight plastic, and eight gearboxes. Wow. Eight iron, eight plastic, and eight gearboxes. Oh. How did I manage that? And we need four of the engineers' processors. Uh, let's just have a quick look and see how many gears we need uh, for eight gearboxes. So we need 32. That's two stacks. Two stacks of bronze. Okay, nowhere near enough. Um, I'll probably come back when I've made these because, that, well, that's one stack. Right, let's... Let's do that. Let's just take three stacks of copper, uh, one stack of tin, throw them in the crusher. Now, if I can get this just right, I throw them on the end of the belt and they don't throw through and out the other end. That one missed. Like that. So otherwise they miss and they don't go in the crusher. Sometimes it's the physics mod that's, that does this. And then we want the tin in there as well. That are perfect. So that can crush those up. And then I can use these furnaces to... Um... Oh, well, there's the other stack I needed. Okay. Pretty sure we're going to need some more bronze um, gears down the line, so we'll keep cracking on and use all this up. Now, why do I have a stack of copper on me? Did I only put two in there? I did only put two in. Uh, what I could do with making as well is the wireless terminal for these. So I don't have to keep running back to here. Uh, that would be a lot easier. Uh, I didn't actually check actually how much of the treated wood that actually needed. But as you can see there, it's, it's taken quite a bit. Let's have a look. Well, we need, what, 4,900 and some in here yesterday. Wow. Down to three and a half K. Um, I didn't check this has run out. Right, so it's close. I could just upgrade the other one and um move those across, but right, let's take those eight and we're making the advanced, so that's latex. And we whoop. We don't want to do that. We actually need to split these. Uh, oh, I need the pitties. Oh, damn it. We actually, we need to make five, not four. Because although the last one is the advanced, 
um, machine frame, which still requires the simple one in it. So I needed to be making five of these, not four. Our power still still seems to be holding. And look, look, look at that, all that water that froze in the last episode. It stayed frozen. So I've no idea what made it the ice pop. And then we need to make one advanced out of this. That's two more gearboxes and another bronze gear. Uh, two plastic, two pink coloured, but we need pink slime for this one. Right. So, let's have a look. We want four laser drills, so we want eight pistons. Oh, that's, I think they're steel rods, aren't they? Yeah, steel rods. Um, let's try the steel ingot way in the strainer. Now, it's these strainers here. I've got an upgrade I can pinch. Whoops. There's one in there. And let's see how we're getting on. 64 and 2, that's not bad. 47. Now we should have some more diamond dust ready. Yeah, 28. And that's the... Was that the end of it? Yeah. So we'll just note in that one and 10 in that one. So let's just... 17 in there and we'll do 20 million look at all these lovely diamonds right, take those out and leave that running really want one more piston i oh, know we wanted eight didn't we tell a lie Oh, one more. And I think we have the rest. So that's one. Oh, what went from the middle? Oh, these. Right. Okay. Uh, we've run out of right, gold again. Wow. So many, so many gears. So that actually completes that quest. Uh, we're going to need some power. Now we have to set this up in the void dimension. I believe it, it says that somewhere. Uh, I'm sure we set it up in the void direction. Yeah, there. Although it's in black, so it's kind of easy to miss. So it can be obtained through the ore laser when used in the void. And I believe that's the same, yeah, for emeralds and the same for ancient debris, which leads on to the netherite section of the quest. Right, that's those three. And now we need the ore laser base. What is that? Oh, pink slime ingots. I, I thought we made these. What's the use? Oh, we used them in one of the machines, didn't we? So we want uh, four iron. Or gold. And then just the diamond pickaxe. Again, make sure you make the right one. And we can collect that quest as well. 
Right, so what do we need now? We need power in the void dimension, and at the moment we can't transfer that power. So we're going to need to build a power station. Now, we could replicate the setup we've got here, but there could be a much easier way and a better way to generate the power that we're going to require. Um, it's manual I'm looking for. In the manual, we should have, I believe it's this one here, the BBL Infinity Book. And this is where our multi-block generators come into use. Now, we created those Infinity Block a long time ago, and they should be in here somewhere. Not quite sure where I put them. There they are. The Infinity Generator and the Infinity Generator Structure Detector. So we did these a long, long way back in one of the quest lines. And there are several different generators. Some of these uh, are better than the others for obvious reasons. Uh, the Infinity Generator actually is the best one. Um, but I believe it needs nether stars. You've got to feed it nether stars. Uh, might be wrong on that one. It doesn't actually say on here. Right, let's have a look at what JEI says. Right. Uh, the Stonopolis generator. Um, that we don't have access to at the minute. We need coloured caves before you can get that. Um, the steam generator needs a wooden turbine. That's fine, but it doesn't create an awful lot of power. And the, the laser... Uh, drill uses quite a bit. Um, the infernal generator here, you can see, it uses a blaze rod, and that generates uh, 120,000 RF per blaze rod. Um, the infernal one actually uses gas tears, but I'm not sure we can get those. Oh, they've got several different ones. So with a skeleton, we certainly can't get those. The Steam generator is not that bad. Uh, the gold generator would probably be better for us, seeing as we have uh, a metric crap ton of gold. Um, don't know what's required for that one. There are a lot more generators listed in here than there is in the book, that's for sure. Yeah, the star generator, that's the one that needs nether stars. That's by far the best one, but we don't have access to nether stars quite just yet. Coal one, uh, no. Not making any more coal, even though it's 128,000. Um, it's slow because it's over uh, 80 seconds that it burns that. So I think what we'll do is we'll go with the gold generator. And that's a lot of blocks, as you can see. Now, I believe 18, we need 22 blocks. That's not that bad, really. 22 blocks of gold. I mean, we've got, well, according to that, we've got 1,600 blocks. So, yeah, not a problem at all. So, 22 blocks. We're going to need something for a platform. Uh, probably looking at stone. Uh, I don't think we've got anything that's probably better than stone. Now, the easiest way to lay this platform out is by using the builder's wands. I think we've got them in this pack. Uh, I don't think I've got a builder's wand either. Yeah, we do have them in this pack. So we'll use a diamond one. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. We should have all that. Um, let's take a few more stacks of stone. Should be enough. Uh, we're going into the void dimension, which is this fellow, which we haven't been in here for a very long time. 
Now, mobs don't spawn in here, or they didn't used to. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to branch out from the platform and not replace the platform. And let's go out a comfortable amount. Now, what we really need to be doing is building in grid, because these are multi-block structures. So if we do an F3 plus G, we'll go up to the end of that one. And then we'll go out this way. Is that the corner? Yeah, that's the corner. And then we can use the wand to fill that in. Now, don't forget it's a safe void to this. So even if you fall down, it doesn't matter. And let's go out here. And that's bang on a chunk. Let's just fill this and give us a bigger, bigger platform to run on. Right, lovely. That's a good amount. Right, so to build a generator, um, let's first of all get in this chunk. Now we'll come in one from the edge. So you need to lay out a uh, three by three. And you want the, is it the corners? I think it's the corners. Yeah, it's the corner ones. And then just fill the top in. And put the infinity generator in the middle. And if you take this infinity generator structure detector and you right click the block, um, There we go. You shift right click. Uh, pound pattern gold generator. That's great. Uh, we should have brought some gold with us. Put those in there and it should start generating. FE. As you can see there at the top in the middle. And it has a, oh, that's a big storage. What's that? 100 million? 100 million FE storage, which is quite good. Uh, the rate at which this is generating, I think this is going to actually burn through it too quick. So the way you set this up, uh, I'm going to lift it off the floor one. And the reason I'm going to lift it off the floor is because um, you can have these laser drills up to three, three by three on each side so by lifting it up off the floor. If I want to add any more of these later on, I can do that. So we'll need to make sure we lift the drills up. They need to be one away. So that's where they're going to be. Now, I don't know which way around these face. Is it that way? No, it's the other way. Uh, that's not leaving a gap. Right. So this little beam here that you see is just telling you that it's connected to the all laser base. Okay. These still need power. This needs uh, doesn't need power, uh, but this does. So we need a way to get the power out of here and into these. Now, the only power that we've got at the minute is industrial immersive engineering even. So we're going to have to try that. Probably going to have to make some more wires because I ran out yesterday. And we're just going to need to wire this up in such a way that uh, now let's think get the stuff out of here 
you usually take it out the top, but I think you take it out the bottom. This doesn't actually need like a, a, a void connection underground. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come out the side of this because this is not an actual structure that you can click on. I'm right clicking at the minute. You have to take it out of this block. Um, so we're going to need one connector on that. And then we're going to have to relay somewhere out the way. So let me see. Let's go... Oops, I meant to put that on top. Let's go up here with the uh, relay. Um, actually, we need two more up and remove that one. Hang the relay there. And then we should be able to hook up to all these from there. And I'm hoping that they're not going to be in the way of the middle block. Right, that's good. So I need to get out of here. So let's go. Wonder how high we can go up. Think that will cut it. I don't know if that will. So let's just put the blocks in place and then we can experiment. So that is probably too high. It's going to cut into the structure. Oh, it didn't. Okay, that works. <laughs> and then when we hook this up, they should then get power. As you can see, they are indeed getting power. So this work rate should now progress. And is that still going up or that's still going up? Oh, it's, it's, it's kind of going up. Only just. And there's three of them. we're doing for power I think that is still going up yeah it's still going up but only just I mean these aren't struggling for power they all seem to be powered up that's okay now you can upgrade these you can add the uh, industrial fall going upgrades um, these ones, the speeds and the um, efficiency ones. Efficiency would be good for these. Um, speed also. Uh, you wouldn't want one without the other because looking at that, this is very close to being borderline losing power. And you don't want to lose power. You want these to be full all the time. Yeah, that's a bit of a pain. Fancy putting nether quartz in here when we've got oodles of it. And we've got so much nether ore. Uh, I suppose that's one we're getting sulfur if we need it. I'm not sure if we do. But there we go. So let's just have a peek while that's making those. So we're going to take ancient debris. And it looks to me like you just craft it. That's something else entirely. Or you could stick it in a tier 3 blood altar, but why would you do that? This Oh, that's actually not... That's a cluster block. Oh, okay, that's something else that we don't have access to. So we're going to have to get up to a tier 3 blood altar to make netherite scrap by the looks of this. Either that or the arc furnace way, which we didn't go. Right, so we need a tier 3 blood altar to be able to get the scrap. Or we make an arc furnace, which is a real pain in the ass to manage, I can tell you. Uh, what do we do with the echo shards? 
Right. So that is a crafting recipe for netherite ingots. Uh, the echo shards. Did I say nether shards? I think I did. And the emeralds are just there for being emeralds, I guess. Uh, oh, of course, that opens up tier six meshes. Ooh, now then. Now then, now then. Tier six meshes are perhaps the highest tier. I don't think they go above that. And then that lets us get into... So, another our ingots into nuggets and then crafted with a bone. We're going to need lots of bones. Oh. And that gives us, let's see, I've got no, oh, that dropped from, that's a drop from Wither Skellies. And how many of those makes a Wither Skull? Oh, and then at that point, you need to kill the Withered Skelly Boss. What's that? Void Stone? Okay. Um, yeah, that's, I don't really need that, to be honest. I mean, it's not like we've got Void Chunked. Uh, let's see if we can alter this depth to give us a better. So that's any depth. Minus 64. To, are, are these all? If they're all that, then that doesn't actually help us. Yeah, that doesn't help us at all. Sometimes you can focus the depth to a specific Y range and then you will get those specific items. But it looks like they're all coded for the same... Yeah, min, max, y. So we're just waiting for an emerald, and then we can go back and carry on with the quest. Now, we need to chunk load this so it carries on. And that's hence building in the one chunk. Now, the way to chunk load this is to bring up your map, Click this claim chunks in the top corner here. Claim both chunks and then shift claim chunks. And they will now stay chunk loaded. So this should run on its own. What we do need to do is have a constant supply of gold coming in here. To keep this running. So we can do that now. Uh, all we need for that is a couple of hoppers. I will use the hopper hoppers and then if we have a container lead what do we have one by two that's a compacting one we don't have any of the other drawers we don't particularly want to like put too much in here so let's take a normal chest um, and, and we've got the hoppers and then what we'll do is we'll take um, let's say four stacks of, of gold blocks no you can't use blocks uh, we'll hop it straight into that which hopefully will not affect the generator We'll put the chest on top and then break these into ingots and then start filling these out. Shall keep it running for a while? And just to check, yep, topped up. And still going up. Right, have we got an emerald yet? No. Right, let's take these. We don't particularly want those. 
We don't particularly want the nether quartz either, unless for some reason down the line we're going to need sulfur. Uh, do we have a spare spot to put these in? Yeah, let's turn that charcoal out of there. I'm um, going to need to unlock that drawer. No, in fact, we don't need to unlock it, do we? we just replace. No, I can't. Just put them in there. And then relock the drawer. Uh, charcoal. I'll just pop that in here. Right. Um, for tier 3 blood altar, uh, let's have a look. Is it in the book? Uh, that's two, four, five, ten, fifteen, or twenty room blocks. Um, eight uh, stone bricks, and then oh, don't know how, which ones of those we can make. We can definitely make the glowstone blocks. I don't know about the others. I don't think we've got access to the other stuff yet. Uh, this is going to protrude out here. So I'll get all those blocks ready for the next episode. Um, this is an hour's recording, so what it crushes down to, it might crush down to quite a bit lower. So I'm going to stop here. I'll make all those blocks, the room blocks, for the tier 3 blood altar, which we're going to need. And um, I shall see you in the next episode. So be good, be safe, and goodbye for now.